of water that you're doing per plower. Um, and if you're doing a dough uh, where you want a final height, so we'll pretend this is the, the loaf, so the, the patterns, I'll fold it in half. So bring the top, I'm gonna turn it over, bring the top to the bottom, then I'll go over the center this side, then I'll go over the center uh, back with the other side, and then just fold it down so that the seam is again on the bottom of the table. Um, and it just helps keep all the gas and fermentation that you put into that dough um, in a real nice kind of clean, like minimally uh, uh, degassing method. Um, so it's just down half, and then over the middle, back over the middle, and then down. So I'll do it with this one. You guys can see, and then uh, you can all give it a try. So I'm just taking this top, closing it, and this side, over, yeah. yeah, back over the middle, and then the top, back down. And you know, if it feels a little loose to you, you can kind of tuck the, the bottom a little bit. And then I give it a little rest on the table before putting it in the basket. Um, so, yeah, you guys can just pull the uh, bench flower. So these, you know, because this is a pizza oven and we're Gorgeous. just uh, trying to make, you know, make some steam and it's just a few small loaves in there. And keep one in your car with a sheet because if you bake bread and you bring it to someone's house, they probably won't have a bread yeah. night. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. Is sadder That's than true. Here. So this is a step-by-step -step on how I did mine based on Lucio's class. I, you can see my starter. It needed a little bit of feeding. So I took it out and I fed it with a half a cup of the starter. I discarded the rest, although I kept it for waffles or I'll cover that later. Half a cup of water and a cup of flour. You can see I used br uh, some bread flour and rye flour to make my uh, to feed my starter. So overnight you let that sit. That's how it looks and then that's how it looks in the morning. Okay so I let that set all day until I needed to make my bread. First thing you do is you make your levain. I take a uh, what is it? A 62 grams of starter, which is not that much as you can see. 186 grams of water. Very important to weigh these things out. Use your scale. And 247 grams of flour. Combine the starter and the water. You know, get it up there. Put the uh, uh, dough hook on there. You put in the bread flour, and that's how you make what's called your levain. Take that, set it aside. Then in another separate bowl, clean your dough hook, put in a 424 grams of water, 75 to 85 degrees, 424 grams of bread flour, and 141 grams of whole wheat flour. I used white whole wheat flour, and that's what you make what's called the auto lease. You take that, you set it aside 12 hours overnight. So I made that at about 9 o'clock at night. 9, 10 o'clock the next morning, I looked at both of them. That's how they look. That's the auto lease. That's the Levan, nice and juicy, ready to go. You combine the two of those in the morning, use a scraper, get the auto lease out, put it in the bowl. With the Levan, add 15 grams of salt, although that's a little too much for me. I used about 10 grams, and as you'll see, it looks dirty, but that's because I use that cherry wood smoked sea salt from the San Francisco Salt Company. Combine it until it makes a cohesive, but not necessarily smooth dough with the dough hook. That's how it's going to look. Uh, let it set for four to five hours. It's going to be bubbly. I had to punch mine down quite a few times, maybe fold it over. It was a really wet dough, so I needed to make it into, I needed to use a lot of flour, but 750 grams 
each disc, put it in your proofing baskets. I cover it with these things that the, came with the proofing baskets, these little cloth things, and I put it in the uh, refrigerator overnight. Lucio says that if it's overnight, sometimes it, re it gets be better flavor. Dutch oven, in the next morning, uh, about 8 o'clock the next morning, 475 degrees or 45 minutes, there's my bread. It needed to be scored. I could have taken the brush and brushed out flour off, but I didn't because I'm dumb. That's the bread scored in the Dutch oven. Obviously, be very, very careful. Look at that bread after 20 20 minutes. Unbelievable. That's when you remove the lid. And after mine took about 34 minutes, 210 degrees internal temperature is what you're looking for. This bread comes out so good, so tasty, so flavorful. Let me tell you, it went in seconds. I hope that you try it.